This problem is asking us to determine if an aircraft is loaded within the center of gravity and weight and balance limits. So there are two functions on the E6B for weight and balance. There's weight and arm, and then there's weight and moment, and which one you use will depend on which information you have. So for example, if we have a front seat passenger, if we're given front seat passengers 150 pounds, we can see that we have weight, and this chart also gives us the arm. So we also have arm information. So for the first one, weight and arm, we could use this information, 150 pounds, 85 inches for the arm. If we wanted to use the weight and moment, we would still use the 150 pounds, but we would have to go back to the chart, find 150 pounds, and then we would have to use the 128 for the moment. So you can work the problems either way, but if I am able to, my choice is to use the first one using the weight and the arm. The only problem in this case is that for the empty weight of the aircraft, we only have the weight and the moment. But we can still get to the arm information, which is the center of gravity. We just have to use the weight and balance, weight and moment calculation first. So I'm going to do weight and moment. So for the weight, we have 2,015 pounds. For the moment, if you can see here, the moment divided by 100 is 1554. So in order to get the moment, we have to multiply by 100 also. So 1, 5, 5, 4, multiply by 100, add 0, 0. That's the moment. Enter. Reduction factor is 1. It's always 1 in these situations. So that gives us a center of gravity of 77.12. So when we start laying out the weight and balance problem, we have aircraft. Weight is 2015, arm 77.12. And then we'll add the other information that we get from the problem. So we have front seat, rear seat, baggage, and fuel. So front seat, 350 pounds, rear seat, 325, baggage 27, and then notice that the fuel is actually given in gallons. So we have 35 gallons. So what we need to remember is that one gallon of fuel equals 6 pounds, so we have to take 35 gallons times 6 pounds, and that will give us Two hundred and ten pounds. So these are the weights times the arm. So we've already determined the arm center of gravity of the empty aircraft is seven seven seventy seven inches point one two. Front seat, we can see the arm is eighty five. Rear seat one twenty one. Baggage one forty. And then fuel, arm 75. And then this is the information we can put into the E6B for the weight and balance. So now we have the weight and arm for all of the stations. We had to determine the center of gravity using weight and moment first of the empty aircraft, but now we can go back to using the top one for weight and arm. So I'm going to go into weight and balance, weight and arm. And remember, everything we enter stacks on top of each other. So we have 250 pounds weight, arm, what we determined already, 77.12. Reduction factor 1, hit enter, enter again. Now we're going to add the front seat passenger, 350 pounds at station 85, enter, 
Enter again to add rear seat 325 at station 121. Enter. Enter again. Next weight 27 pounds of baggage. Enter at station 140. Enter. Add in the fuel weight 210 pounds. Station at 75. Enter. And now we have a new center of gravity, 83 inches, 0.36. So I'm going to write that center of gravity is 83.36. Gross weight is 2927. And moment equals 244001. All right, so now we can see we'll go to the next figure, figure 33. We can find center of gravity, or gross weight 2927. So gross weight 29, so somewhere between here 2927. And the moment, minimum moment divided by 100 is probably closer to the 233. So 244 divided by 100 would be around 2440. So 2440, but we're good here because this is smaller. And the maximum is 2483. And so we are in between these, and coincidentally, we're also in between these two digits also. So we are within max gross limits, and we are within center of gravity limits. So what we've determined is for the answer then, the center of gravity is 83.36. The moment is 244001. And if we look here again, the moment divided by 100 is the number they use for their chart. So we can divide 244011 by 100, and that's about equivalent to 2440. And this is the 2440 is what we use to determine that we are within the moment limits, maximum and minimum, for the gross weight that we have of 29, 27 pounds, 2,927 pounds.